Welcome to Crimson Guitars. We are putting up the videos of the top five contestants of the Great Guitar Bill of 2020 unofficial competition. And this is, this is number one, numero uno, Laura from Broken Wind Instruments. She repairs wind instruments, hence the slightly risque name. And she made Violet, a cow. It is everything we want to see about this competition. It is incredibly creative. It is totally left field. It is somebody who doesn't build guitars for a living. This is only her second guitar and it is thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining. Here is a shorter version of her build. Please check it out and uh, if you like what you see, which you will because you voted for this, nearly 10% of all votes went for this instrument. Please go and check out her channel and click like, subscribe, leave comments on her videos, let her know what you think of the process, and let her know, most importantly, what you want to see next. Among the other prizes are she's won a full kit, a bunch of tools from Crimson Guitars, uh, a voucher from VintageToolshop.com, uh, some ISO tunes, and she has entered into the official Great Guitar Build Off competition next year. And, well, it's awesome. I've had a blast. Thank you for your support. On with the video. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I am proud owner of Broken Wind Music Shop here in Jersey in the Channel Islands. I'm a musical instrument repairer by trade, specialising in woodwind and brass, hence the slightly naughty yet memorable name of my company, Broken Wind. A few weeks ago I came across a video on Crimson Guitars while watching our Lord of Luthiers, Mr Ben Crow, and I saw that he was doing the Great Guitar Build-Off, really got into that and watching all the videos, and then saw about the unofficial build-off and thought, you know what, let's have a go. Why not? You've built one guitar, what could be possibly go wrong with this one? So I decided to take on the challenge and went a little bit off piece, shall we say. So while coming up with the design for this build, I thought, I really like the idea of showcasing our little rock here in the channel that bit more and do something that's not only memorable and fun and different but something that the island's known for and so i decided to have a go at building an s-type guitar as a cow <sighs> why i do this to myself i don't know it has been an absolute blast. I've had a roller coaster. I am absolutely exhausted and have thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you to Ben for opening this up to the unofficial competition because it has thrown me out of my comfort zone by making me open a YouTube channel and do these videos, which I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to do some repairing videos and anything I make in the future, I am going to do um videos for and put on my channel so please keep following me thank you to everyone for the support i've had over the last few weeks the comments the likes the shares the subscribers um please keep that all coming and keep and it going everyone please enjoy this is my surf and turf guitar the orma headstock and the beauty that is violet the cow there we are this is the first sketch of Violet. I'm going to call her. Not the typical Daisy because there's nothing going to be quite typical about her. And I have picked up the timber which I'm going to use which is a lovely big hunk of beech. As with my previous build that I mentioned before about using old floorboards I'm quite keen to use some recycled timbers so this is a piece that I'm guessing might have been a shelf or something. It's got biscuit joints along one edge here which might prove a bit tricky for me later, but time will tell. Got a lot going on at the moment, as well as this, with not much time. So I must apologise in advance for all these videos, because I'm going to be doing quite a lot of late nights, probably not looking very with it on about three or four coffees and various states of eye closure. Quite pleased. I think the ears look good size shape looks pretty good the one thing i'm not convinced by is the traditional style headstock i noted the other day that i thought a lot of coffee would be getting me through this build i think that was a little lie turns out it's beer i've decided to use another local inspiration this is an orma shell it's a local 
um, shellfish, as you might have guessed. Very, very, very pretty on the inside, sort of pearly opal kind of looking on the inside. Um, used a lot as inspiration over here for art and jewellery and various sculptures and things like that. And the holes reminded me of the holes in the headstock and it got me thinking, maybe just something this plain, this simple, is exactly what Violet needs to be above her head. Mm. Pretty much finished roughing up my headstock and got a bit carried away. Went through nice and thin, so I've got a proper scalloping bit out here and beautifully thin, so thin I went through it. So I've decided this is not a mistake, it's going to be a design aesthetic. And then I got my Dremel out with the slightly different engraver tool and I've done some shell detailing, as you can see there on the back. I've got a spiral and the shell's going up and I've done my new holes. And then, as in my little new design aesthetic, I've added in an actual piece of shell. You caught me in a bit of a pickle. You can probably hear my brain cogs working from wherever you are in the world. So let me just show you, it'll be easier. This is where we're at. I have my neck pocket as done previously. My lovely center line. My combination bridge with holes done for the support, which is kind of going to be her mouth. Then we have the lovely jailhouse rail two pickup that is going to be the nosy pickup. Now, the problem I find myself with is, some of you might have already realised it, but this pickup would normally, normally, need more tea, normally be, that's better, mounted in a strat style scratch plate. And then you wouldn't see all of these gubbins at the bottom, you would just see this bit. However, I'm not having the scratch plate because Violet's not going to look like an extra from Phantom of the Opera. So what I'm going to do, I think, is make a little nose plate that the pickup can be mounted into, making it hopefully not only functional, but even more nosy. So I previously mentioned on my original video, if you viewed that one, that the guitar I made for my brother-in-law, Tim, I put Jersey Granite inlays on the neck and I'm going to do the same for this guitar. I think it's something that I want to do for each one I make. I think it's a nice little touch, maybe a signature of mine going forward. I quite like that idea. Of you, there was quite a few of you when I was talking about my headstock ideas that suggested doing a cow's tail or... There was multiple different like um, suggestions, milk bottles and churns, all that kind of thing. Um, I love the ideas, please keep the comments going, it's really really nice to see and to hear all your support of my crazy ideas. Um, the reason I didn't do a tail is I'm going to do one on her bum, where it's supposed to be. From the moment I sketched Violet's face out on the beach, I was looking forward to shaping her ears. <laughs> and you know what? It is not disappointing. This is an absolute joy. It's so much fun just hacking away and being creative and doing this shaping. <laughs> it's really, really, really good giggle. 
people aren't so excited when you are creative with their expensive instrument that's in for repair so it's just lovely to have the freedom to do this it's really really fun beautiful pair of lug holes quite pleased with that still obviously got yet more sanding to do but the shapes there can you see all right there? Or maybe on an angle, that might be better. There we go. Yep. Well, you might be able to hear me now. I've been talking to her all this time, never got a reply. <laughs> So I thought I'd tackle one eye at a time, just in case it didn't go to plan, then I could rectify my mistakes when doing the next one. <laughs> Worst case you'd end up looking like Pudsy Bear. Slight change of plan on the scheduled works. <sighs> nose plate just broke. Ah! Just when I realised how much time I was lacking in. Let's do something again. but. Oh well, lesson learned. Don't do that. So, time for a new nose and more beer. So, new day, new nose, and I think this mug says it all, really. I know a lot of people have their signatures or they do signature inlays and that kind of thing. Um, but one thing I do, um, as part of my company, Broken Wind, um, the instruments that are written off and you can no longer fix or that are uneconomical to repair, I make into furniture. So I've made various items. Um, I have a double base I've made into a TV stand for my house. Um, I've made lights out of trombone, saxophones, clarinets, pretty much everything. Um, anyway, with all those different bits that I create and make, um, I brand them. And I have a company branding iron, old school. Heat it up with a flame. Can you see there? Um, and what could be more appropriate than putting that on the bum of a cow? Then I've gone down to 1200 all over, but I have purposely left some little 400, not 400. Let me try that again. 40 grit um, markings in the hope that when I add the stain, that will be. Oh, there we go, that's a better view. You see in here. Um, hopefully, that will give a bit of fur like texture around the ears, particularly. Just doing a little bit of experimenting for Violet's eyes. Um, her, obviously, cow's eyes are black, um, but I want them to have a bit of a shine to the machine, a little twinkle in her eye should we say, and um, I'm just seeing how's best to achieve that. And I had the little brainwave of this one which we'll see when it dries and buffs and things, but this is actually the rear guard shielding paint that I then buffed up and then applied some of the stunning stains to it. So there's like, oh, can you see? A nice little glint and sheen. I think it might give her the required twin. There we have it. First set of stain done. See how it, you see the back's already starting to dry off. And it's a lot lighter than first applied. Violet, how's it hanging?
she is. Strings and all. <sighs> the joy of it is Violet. I'm gonna give her a hug. So thank you all. I thank you. I can't believe I am saying this, but I am so proud to say that I am the winner of the Great Guitar Build Off Unofficial Competition 2020. Like, don't cry, Laura. Too British for that. <sighs> no. On BBC Radio Jersey, it's 25 past one. What does it take to build your own guitar? And what about a cow shaped one? Um, Laura Poinchester won first place in the unofficial Great Guitar Build Off, and she joins us now. I'm delighted to say good afternoon, Laura. Hello. You did really quite well in this competition, didn't you? Yeah, I accidentally went and won it. <laughs> I honestly can't believe it. Thank you so much to anyone and everyone that voted for me. It is just phenomenal to... I'm so overwhelmed by the support I've received, and not only locally, but across the world, and the fabulous comments I've had. And I said in my, my video yesterday, to be put in the top five was... The top 30 even was amazing. The top five was incredible, and I can't believe to say I've won it. Wait for it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe both to crimsonguitars.com channel and Laura's channel and everybody that involved was involved in the entire competition. Go back to greatguitarbuildoff.com. Check out a list of the uh, the contestants and if you haven't yet, please go and watch through the videos. This whole competition has been just incredible. 2020 has been a year and uh, this this happened and uh, it's yeah it's been incredible uh, thank you for your support i really appreciate it as does every single builder involved we will look forward to what happens next year don't forget the whole competition is going to be relaunched on new year's eve on this channel we will make announcements as to dates, where, when, how this competition this year has been run by the seat of our pants in the midst of a global pandemic and economic crisis, and as such wasn't as efficiently run as it could have been. Uh, next year, next year is going to be a little bit different, and hopefully a whole hell of a lot better. Is it possible to be better than this year's competition? Well, we'll see. Anyway, enough of me. This is all about Laura and the fact that she won the Great Guitar Bill of 2020 unofficial competition. Officially. Goodbye. See you soon.